Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And today, we're going to blow your mind with more Mirage goodies. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we are going to be adding in the fog light wiring for our JDM bumper. And because the closest point of entry is on the opposite side of the car, we're going to have to put a hole in the firewall in order to reach our desired location. So, let's get started and take it from there. Okay. A little bit of light on the subject. So, I'm going to explain this uh, fog light harness as simple as possible so there are no confusions. Okay. So, this is our switch. This plugs directly to the switch. At the other end of the switch is, this is what you're turning on and off for power. This is the ignition switch signal, which is white. Then this is an extension, just in case this isn't long enough to reach to this relay. So you're turning on and off the relay to give power to the fog lights, which are all at this end. There's some grounds along the way but that's the relay, that's the fuse for constant power. So that connects to the battery. And that is our wiring harness. And um, there's some grounds along the way over here too. Um, but that's it. So you can play it back, recap if you need to. But um, we got switch, that plugs into the switch, that turns on and off power to here as soon as it receives it from the ignition switch, extension just in case it doesn't reach, ground along the way, our relay, and this is what is turning on and off the relay is from here, then this gives the relay power, constant power, which is uh, fused. And this part on the back end goes to the actual fog light to turn it on and off. So that's it. So we're going to start with the inside and work our way out. So let's get started. Okay, we are in the car. And our switch is going here. So it will look like this pretty much so there's some modifications that has to be done in order to get this to fit with this but this is easily enough removed like so and then we can begin modification so if you look at the back of this it looks very similar to the shape of our fog light switch so we're going to start modifying this to fit. Okay, so the tool required to modify this piece is going to be a Dremel. And what we're going to do with the Dremel is we are going to cut, so I'm going to have to change this bit off. We're going to cut the back half off of this, probably right about here. So it still clips in, but the back is out. So we're going to do that and be right back. All right. And this is what we end up with. All right. That's working pretty good. All right. So our first piece is going to be this wire which plugs directly in the back of that. And we're going to run the cable down to the floor. So let's go do that. And if we see in there, there's a 
small opening. Well, you can't really see it, but believe me, it's there. All right, and what we're gonna do is take this end and feed it down into the hole. Let me see if I can, there we go. Down there in that hole, and it should come down here on the floor. Okay, and just like that, it is through. So we are going to be completely done with this end. Alrighty. So now we're ready for the switch. Okay, and there's our light. And now, we're gonna start wiring all of this. Ground there. Gonna drill a hole. So let's take a peek under the dash to see where we're going to place the hole. Okay, so we are going to put a bit size of 9 30 seconds into this spot here next to the screw. And um, yeah, we're going to feed our wire through there. And we should be good to go. So that'll be perfect. So let's get to drilling. Okay, so you can see we have the hole. I'm going to put this in the hole so you can see exactly where on the opposite side it comes out. So that's in like so, and let's see where it comes out. See, so that's nice and sleek. Not showing a whole bunch of wires going everywhere. That's perfect. So we can actually come through there, around to the fuse box area with no problems. All right, so let's run that wire. All right, and I found my first ground off of these two bolts here. So that'll be my first ground for the switch. And now that the wires ran through, I can tuck that away neatly and we will jump to the outside. Okay, and now you can see there's a nice tucked away sort of finish. And I got it all the way over here. So we can continue the modification process and yeah, we are good to go. I cut the white wire so we can reroute that a little bit later and we are ready for the next harness. Okay, excuse the noise in the background, but our next harness has the relay on it. So we can place this pretty much anywhere we want. And the extension harness is if it doesn't reach, which ours does on the Mirage. So we can plug that directly into here. And then we can plug this directly to power. Ground over here for the relay. And let's get this wired in permanently. place for the relay we're going to put it right here 
that's a 10 millimeter we're going to take that off and then on my battery terminal which is slightly different shows uh voltage you can actually get this uh, off of ebay i think it's under 30 dollars on mine we're going to add the power to let's see if you can see it this upper one it's empty and not being used so that would be perfect right there for power and ground is body so that'll be easy to find and install all right and then this is where our wire ends up for the relay to turn it on and off so that'll be an easy reach from here to there nothing needs to be extended if anything it may need to be shortened so that's a good problem to have so let's tie this stuff in and take it from there okay so that's in there nice and clean got some light on the subject okay so if you remember the short diagram i did this white wire is the ignition switch so basically when this wire senses power it allows you to use your fog lights but what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook this straight to power along with the fuse so i'll be able to turn on and off the fog lights whenever i want whether the car is on or off i'll be able to turn it on so i personally prefer it that way you could definitely hook that white wire up to the ignition switch and only allow yourself to use the fog lights when the car is on or what have you <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to wire this and you see our new mounting location and I'm gonna wire the fuse both to the power so I obviously don't need this much uh, wire so we're gonna shorten this down and tuck it away nice and neat and connect both of these items to power all right let's do that Alrighty, this one is soldered, some light on it, soldered and heat shrink, let me zoom in, there we go, solder in the middle, heat shrink on both ends, pretty decent product, uh, yeah, got that from Amazon, excellent, excellent, alright, so now we're about to put both wires into here, now that it's all soldered as one, Okay, so now that that is connected, we want to test to make sure the button works. So, we're going to go on the inside, and we're going to turn down the light for a second. Alright, so as of right now, when you push the button, it should illuminate. perfect and coincidence but that's the same color as my gauges so everything balanced out perfectly so next <clears throat> we have to run this wire to each fog light, which is going to come out right around this area, and same for this area. So let's slide the bumper over here and let's give it a test. Okay, so our fog light switch is on, right? We connected the wires to the bumper, right? But we have to connect the ground for the relay. So we're going to just put it to body. And bingo, we have lights. That looks perfect and nice and bright. Excellent. So that's going to work exactly the way I want it to.
and possibly in the future we could probably change the color but we will get there shortly so next what we're going to do is finish running our wire and then we're going to mount the bumper all right excuse the noise it got a little hot in here had to fire up the fan but anyway so we're shortening the wire and i figure what better ground circuit than the horn so we're gonna slide this back here. It's a little, little 12 millimeter. And that part will be done. This side has enough length. So that's perfect right there. And I'm going to run the next wire either, eh, I'll probably run it between here. The heat shouldn't affect it, it is uh, covered. So I'm gonna run it through there and take it through the same spot as I have it on this one. So it doesn't interrupt anything and it doesn't touch anything, that'll be perfect. Okay, so the wires ran in between here, which should not cause any problem. But if it does, I will move it elsewhere. But I think here is good. And um, yep, so after that, the fog lights are in their place. So now we're gonna start to assemble the front end before the bumper. Okay, so we got the headlights on and connected in the back and we're going to put the corner lights on as soon as we get on the bumper. So let me move this jack pole out of the way. Alrighty. Perfect. So now we're gonna slide the bumper on, and for now it's gonna be without the uh, frame support until I uh, get something to remedy that, which I have something coming soon. Not here yet, but coming. So yep, yeah, so let's mount this bumper and see what she looks like. All right, so she's coming together. She is wired in, looking good. Fog lights are on point. So next all I have to do is pop in the grill, corner light, get a screw for here. This is something I put together, a little extra security as far as reinforcement. And yes, it's coming together. It's looking like a car. Fog lights are working. Good, good. Yeah, look at that. So that is done and complete. She's looking good. Let's get a uh, shot of the fogs on, nice and even, nice and clean. Yeah, I can't wait to take this out on the road. Yeah. And uh, let me see if I can show you. There's a huge gap here. So I'm going to have to make a bracket to lift it up like that. And that should do it. 
which uh, should not be too much trouble because this bar in the center has uh, bolt holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little uh, bracket to hold it up in place. And that should be it, it should be nice and clean. Also, this um, wire for the fog lights, it's probably better to run it on the bottom uh, with the fog lights because it's actually pretty tight. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tight. So, um, might want to keep that in mind and I'll probably do something like that a little bit later. But uh, she is together. She's looking good. And we're going to call it there. Hey, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed and found this uh, video informative in some way, shape, or form. Um, we are nearing the cusp of 400 subscribers, so I'm really excited about that. And I want to thank you guys for watching, viewing, and enjoying uh, we're definitely going to, um, we, as in me, uh, are going to bring you more episodes coming soon. Um, the Mirage is almost finished, at least finished for now, and we're going to jump on to some other things, but I do want to drop a hint for you guys. There's actually going to be a surprise build for 2020, and, uh, it's going to be some all-wheel drive fun. So leave some comments down below if you know what it is or what you think it is. Um, it's Mitsubishi, uh, you know, not a four-cylinder. So I'll leave you guys with that, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>